Forever seems like a long time But nothing seems like a long time When I am with you I feel like I'm walking on water Since the day that I asked your father To let go of his daughter So give me your blessing, sir I'll give her all that I've got It doesn't look like much But it sure feels like a lot Let her take my heart and take my hand Take my heart for 
Who gives this? Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Absolutely. All right, Kenneth, you take care of her now. Okay. Yes, sir. Please be seated. <laughs> Friends and family of Kenneth and Malia. Welcome. We made it. This day has been filled with uncertainties just like the last few months, really. We thought there was a monsoon coming. And somehow the good Lord parted the sky for us uh, to be able to be here right now. These last couple of months, the questions were, do we move the wedding day? How many people... Can we invite to our wedding? Or will we even be able to have a wedding, a traditional wedding at all? The list goes on and on, but you're here today and, and you should feel very good about that. Because after the COVID cut, you're still on the guest list. June 5th, 2020. The day that the Hibbett family and the Dalrymple family are joined together forever through the bond of marriage between Kenneth and Malia. This is a time that you and your families will never, ever forget. As we begin, we will have a prayer. However, this is a very special prayer for Kenneth and Malia. Nelson Dalrymple, Malia's grandfather, passed away in September of 2019. Malia had a wonderful relationship with Nelson, or Paul, as we called him. And she always told him she wanted him to lead a prayer at her wedding. Unfortunately, health issues didn't allow him to physically do that. However, just a few days before he passed away, Malia's mother, Kim, was staying with him, and I believe he, he told her to get her phone out and, and record him. And he said a prayer on behalf of Kenneth and Malia. Neither of them have heard this prayer up to this point. Would you please bow your heads in prayer? Our God and our Father in heaven, in whom we live, move, and have our being, the creator of all things, Father, the one who sent your Son into the world, that the world through him might be saved, if they obey your word, Father, and do the things that are required. He is a wonderful Savior, your wonderful Heavenly Father. We pray your blessings upon this couple, Father, who are enter in marriage, and we pray, Father, that you would be with them and that they would do the things that are required to make it a happy marriage and one that will endure for, forever. We pray, Father, that you would continue to bless us, guide us in all that we do, lead us in the way we can best serve you, Father. We pray always that you will be done in all things and not ours. We're so thankful, so thankful for the hope that we have of having a home in heaven by your son coming, living a perfect life, giving his life on the cross, that we could have forgiveness of our sins. We've done this in the past, and we hope to live in such a way as to inherit that home in the soul that you prepared for those who love you and keep your word. Keep us in your goodness always, Father, we ask all this in Jesus' name, and amen. Amen. 
He was a great man. And he loved you both very, very much. As I've been talking with Kenneth and Malia leading up to the wedding, I've learned some some things about them, some stories that I want to share with you today. We've got three really first uh, for them, and they all three are, are pretty funny. The first day they officially met, now this isn't the first Snapchat or anything like that, but the day they first officially met was at McFarland Park in Florence, and they met around seven and they talked. And they talked, and they talked. (laughs) Among other things, they talked about their families, and they talked about uh, when they both became Christians and were baptized. Before they knew it, it was one or two in the morning. Well, (laughs) Kenneth didn't tell his mom and daddy where he was. So they got on the phone, just checking on it, making sure he was okay. They, They checked the app. And it, and it told him that Kenneth was in the middle of the river. <laughs> Obviously, they got pretty nervous. Bad thoughts started going in their heads, and they get up, and they got, got in the car. And I think they almost called 911. <laughs> but luckily, the, the app updated and showed that he was not, in fact, in the river. He didn't fall in the river. However, he was beginning to fall in love. Like that. (laughs) Their first kiss. Ooh. They started hanging out day after day, and Kenneth would not try to kiss Malia. He would not. She started coming home saying, Mom, I don't think this is going to work out. He doesn't like me. He won't even try to kiss me. So... Finally, Malia said, I'll take care of this. And she went in for the kiss. She made the move. And according to them, it's not me, according to them, it was awful. (laughs) Both of them went back to the vehicles and I think were wondering what in the world had just happened. (laughs) Needless to say, they won't forget their first kiss as a couple. And they won't forget their first kiss in marriage. And last one, they first became a couple on July 3rd, 2017. (laughs) Naturally, July 4th was the next day and families have get-togethers and it's no different for the Hibbett family. But for the Hibbett family, if you bring a boyfriend, girlfriend to a family event, it's a big deal. It's it's going to be serious. Well, they had just started dating officially. So Kenneth mentioned that his family was getting together, but he didn't really invite Malia because you never know. It wasn't too serious at this time. Malia said, okay, great. What time are you picking me up? (laughs) Kenneth was not expecting that, but she went, and I guess it was a good decision After all, so many stories that that they could tell us. Those were a few that they told me. You probably have so many more. Those adventures are what made you fall in love with one another. Never stop having those adventures. Never stop making one another feel special. Never stop making one another laugh. And never stop loving one another. Google defines marriage as the legally or formally recognized union of two people as partners in a personal relationship. The Bible talks about marriage in so many places, but I believe Mark chapter 10 verses 6 through 9 is a good, a great definition of marriage. I want to read that for us. But from the beginning of of creation... God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, 
but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. I want to read a couple of more definitions of marriage. The first one. Marriage is the joining of two people to be one flesh. So having somebody to go through life with, a partner to make life better and easier on each other, to have somebody to celebrate the good times with and to get through all the hard times. And more importantly, somebody to help you with your walk with God and to walk with, somebody that will help you get to heaven. That was Kenneth's definition of marriage. And one more, guess who? What marriage means to me is starting a life with the person I love most in this world, building a family together one day, having a partner to grow spiritually with, cuddling and tickling each other's backs every night before bed, making many ice cream trips together, Always keeping God first in our marriage and loving each other through anything. And that's Malia's definition of marriage. When I asked him that question, I I told him, do not look anything up. Tell me in your words. I don't know about you, but I think those were both perfect. It's time for y'all to do a little talking. It's time for the vows, and Kenneth and Malia have chosen to write their own vows. Kenneth? Malia, after the first night I met you, I knew I could marry you, and here we are today. I feel like the luckiest guy in the world to be standing here with you, and I couldn't be more excited for forever with you. So Malia, I promise to never take the time we have for granted. I promise to love you unconditionally with everything I have. I promise to always support you, respect you, and honor you. I promise to sing Taylor Swift with you at the top of my lungs. I promise to tickle your back and bake cookies with you. I promise that we will never stop going on dates. I promise to always hold your hand through the good times and the bad. I promise to always work on our love and never give up on us. From this day forward, you'll never be alone. Malia. Kenneth, I promise to love you, honor you, and cherish you as my protector and head of our family. I promise to always walk beside you through the good times and the bad times. I promise to take care of you and that one day I'll make a meal as good as my mom. I promise to cry with you, pray with you, and support you. I promise to have fun with you and make you laugh with my not-so-funny jokes. I promise to always put God first in our marriage and to encourage you and help you grow spiritually. I promise to sometimes say you're right when you're actually wrong. I promise to be yours and only yours. I promise to never take you for granted and to remain thankful for getting to spend my life with you. Today I give you my whole heart. After hearing those vows, I would like to ask you each a question. Do you, Kenneth, take Malia in the presence of God and our family and friends as witnesses to be your wife, your partner in life, and your one true love forevermore? I do. Do you, Malia, take Kenneth in the presence of God and our family and friends as witnesses to be your husband, your partner in life, and your one true love forevermore? I do. As a seal of the vows you have just taken, we will now exchange rings to symbolize your love and commitment to one another in a physical form. A ring in itself isn't very special. Honestly, it's just a piece of metal. However, when placed upon the fourth finger of the left hand, the ring symbolizes something that is very, very special. This is how you will physically show everyone the never-ending commitment you have made to one another. It is a symbol of your never-ending journey together. It is a symbol of your never-ending love. 
Can you have the ring? Kenneth, please place the ring on Malia's left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our love. As a sign of our love. And commitment to each other. And commitment to each other. I promise to support you. I promise to support you. Care for you. Care for you. And stand alongside you. And stand alongside you. For all of our days. For all of our days. Sarah. As if this ring didn't already mean enough to Kenneth, the ring he will be wearing is his grandfather Griggs' ring. And his grandfather Griggs was married in 1950. So it's 70 years old right now, and this is the ring that Kenneth will be wearing. Malia? You've already done so, but please place the ring on Kenneth's left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our love. As a sign of our love. And commitment to each other. And commitment to each other. I promise to support you. I promise to support you. Care for you. Care for you. And stand alongside you. And stand alongside you. For all of our days. For all of our days. At this time... Malia's brother, Mitchell, will lead us in prayer. Let's pray together. Dear God, thanks so much for this time and opportunity that you've given us to be here today for the joining of Malia and Kenneth in marriage. Lord, we ask your blessing so much on their marriage that they'll always look to your word, try to bring glory and honor to your name the way they live their life throughout marriage. Help them as they move through the years to always worship you in spirit and in truth wherever they meet. Help them in the future, Lord willing, if they ever have children, to raise them to serve and to love you. Lord, help them to always be example to each and every one of us. Please be with the Hibbett family and the Dalrymple family and all the friends and family that are here today. Help us to encourage Kenneth and Malia through the good times and through the bad. Help us to be an example to them and to love and care for them, not just today, through the fun times and the, the wedding and the honeymoon phase, but through all times, dear Lord. Help us to be there for them. Lord, please be with Malia and Kenneth. Help them to remember these vows that they've wrote to one another. Help them to remember these definitions of marriage that they've wrote for one another. And help them to remember that each and every day and live this out throughout their life. Dear Lord, we ask that you bless them in a very special way. So far throughout their life, unlike many young people their age, they've did everything they can to serve you and to be a good example to their friends and the people around them in a dark and cruel world. Dear Lord, we ask a very special blessing on them this day. And as we leave here today, help us to remember their marriage and to always be there for them. Dear Lord, we ask that you forgive for our sins. Thank you so much for everyone that's here that cares for them. We're so thankful for Nelson Down from the Prairie led earlier and his love and example he was for them. Dear Lord, we're so thankful for Kenneth's parents, Malia's parents, the love and the generosity that they've shared and Molly and Jacob opening up their home for this wedding. Please bless us in a special way. Help us to never forget this great day, dear Lord. And this is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I want to conclude with reading a few more scriptures from God's Word. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. The first part of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 39 says, A wife is bound to her husband as long as he lives. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 25 Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave Himself for her. And Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor 
from the Lord. Although this day has been perfect and absolutely uh, beautiful, even though the clouds have given us some shade, we're thankful for that. This marriage, your marriage, is not for the show. Your marriage is not to be temporary. Your marriage is a commitment of unwavering love until death do you part. I love you. Your families love you. Everyone here loves you. And we all know that you truly, truly love one another. And now... For the first time, here on June 5th, 2020, I'm humbled, honored, and blessed to declare you married as husband and wife. I hope the first kiss of marriage (laughs) is not as awkward as the first kiss of dating. (laughs) Kenneth, you may kiss your bride. I am pleased to present the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth Hibbett.